today with another video, and I want to make this really quick because my camera is actually like short of memory space. So, pretty much from the title of this video, it's going to be about amniotic band syndrome. If you guys don't know what that is, that is what I'm diagnosed with, and that is why I don't have any hands. And you guys have probably already seen me, or the majority of you are uh, subscribed to my channel and know that. I play Call of Duty without hands, I do all types of stuff, I do editing, I do graphic designing, I am a player, I'm a knifer, I'm a sniper, I'm a trick shotter, I'm a red gunner, competitive, whatever you want to call it. And I pretty much do everything, it's not a lie, you can obviously go to my videos and see that I do all of that stuff. And this isn't the video I'm trying to make about that, but pretty much, um, we're going to talk about amniotic band syndrome. That's what I'm diagnosed with. That is the reason why I don't have any hands. Uh, you guys have asked me, like, why am I born this way? And that's why. Pretty much what it is, is that you are... Whenever you're inside your mom, like, in the baby at the stage of the fetus, uh, there's, like, these band-type string things. I don't really know how to... There's a picture. I wish I could put it in the screen, but I can't because I'm not really able to do that as, right now. But... Pretty much, it wraps around certain uh, whims and it like removes it, like it 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 covers it, like it constricts it. It kind of like a this gets tired. That's the best way I can explain. It. it gets tired, and after a while, it just floats off, like it's gone. And whenever you're born, you don't have that body part, and that's what happened to me. But uh, one reason why I'm making this video is because people have linked me videos saying you should get hands. You should get 3D printed hands, stuff like that, like prostheses, and the thing is, I've actually had that when I was younger, probably around like 10 years ago, we're just going to say I was with my foster parents, because I wasn't with my actual parents at the time, and, you know, they were worried about, you know, how are you going to, uh, are you going to live this way the rest of your life, or are you going to uh, live the rest of your life with hands, like with prosthetics, so we tried going to therapy, I got these one prosthetic hand for this arm and it was really bad guys when i say it's bad like i meant it was so bad like you can only move two fingers it was your index no it was your pointer finger but yeah pointer finger and your middle finger i'm not too good with fingers so i don't have any so i'm pretty sure those are the two ones and the rest of them were just closed like your thumb your pinky and your middle finger they were closed it was terrible and it worked by a little mechanic by reflex whenever i go like this it would close it was, it was dumb but now we live in a generation where uh we have machines to print 3d printed uh prosthetics and i think that's cool to be honest but it's not something i still want to do like i'm already at that age now is having prosthetics i proved to everyone that i can do things without prosthetics i was one of the few people who don't need prosthetics because i practiced so much and did everything at home i just just got better and even to this day, I'm still better at doing stuff than other people, like regular people are. And I'm not saying that to brag, but it's like the truth. Like, I get it all the time. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I'm just trying to, like, prove a point. Like, I can edit. Not a lot of people can edit. I'm not the best editor, but it's pretty decent. I can trick shot. Not a lot of people can trick. Like, people like Phase Sensor. Hey, let me talk about Phase Sensor. Even though he's not a trick shot, obviously, he's a competitive player. He can't really trick shot as good like as like phase rain obviously and you know uh everyone came to a point where they learned how to do stuff and there's still people to this day who can't trick shot like i know a ton of my friends cannot trick shot but i can trick shot i know a lot of people who can't quit so i couldn't quit so hit clips all that and you know i'm just saying i'm pretty grateful and what i think that everyone should do is stay motivated honestly because there could be worse situations what people are in right now and a lot of people aren't really happy and i just wanted to let you guys know that just keep going whatever it is you want to do in life just go ahead and do it and don't let anything stop you uh i'm living my life i'm not living the dream yet yet we'll get there though we'll get there but that's all really wanted to say you know um getting on the football team you know i'm i'm out there i'm working out trying to work out i still got the six pack i'll show that save that for you guys later but actually it's not even six pack anymore it's an eight pack i'm not even lying either <laughs> you probably go back on one of my other videos and see that but i mean that's what all i really wanted to say uh shout out to face sensor all by the way because he's helped this kid who had like this surgery on his nose and i thought that was amazing that was pretty inspiring so i just want to say keep doing what you're doing face sensor even though you're probably not even going to watch this video but that's all I really want to say. I want you guys to stay motivated. I want everyone to get on the game. Just keep grinding. Do what you want to do. Stay positive. This has been your boy Blink. And yeah, I'm a faggot. We all know that. Okay, I'm going to just stop.